Yeah. I don't I don't even know what happened. Like Hassan and Pokey seemed happy for X, which was I like I don't know what the what the controversy even stemmed from. <laughs> so no, I I didn't really keep up with any of that. We'll do more only up probably tomorrow. And then Final Fantasy comes out on Thursday and you know I'm going fucking hard on that. I'm so excited for Final Fantasy 16. X is going to get mad at you? I don't I don't know why. I like like I said I don't even know what the controversy stemmed from. The only thing I ever saw from Pokey and Hassan about X going to kick was like a congratulations. Then I know Pokey said something about like the AWS benefiting Twitch or Amazon. I mean, it is Amazon's AWS. And then I saw a, a discussion that is pretty interesting about the AWS. Maybe at some point Amazon views it as more profitable to just sell that service instead of have their own. And I think that's a very interesting perspective because Amazon clearly doesn't care about Twitch so I thought that was an interesting conversation. I don't know what drama would come from that, though. That's just like an actual thing they might choose to do down the line. Is there some toxic in Cadillac? That's all I saw, and that was on Twitter a few days ago, so I don't know what happened here. Or what happened during the debate. It was gambling drama? About Kick being stake-owned? I mean, yeah, I mean, gambling is not a great thing. Amazon's not a great thing either. There's no, like, good people in the streaming space. But it's not a bad point to make. I will say one thing though, I looked at this earlier because I was very curious myself. I wanted to see if Kick really is going to be like a funnel for stake. So I've been looking at the slots and casino numbers over the last like 24 hours. So right now it's at 13k viewers on Kick and on Twitch. Earlier today it was at 65k, it's usually a top 20 category. And on Twitch right now it's at over 40k. And since Kick doesn't have any ads, it doesn't have any, like, gambling promos, all the gambling promo exists in that one category, which is still smaller than the category on Twitch. So, I mean, it's... It could be. It could be a front for stake, I guess. I don't know. But it doesn't seem like it is right now, because it only exists in that one quarantine zone category, which Twitch also does have. It's just not stake. It's just the other competitors that aren't stake. The Twitch user base is bigger than Kick. It's a bad comparison. It, I'm just looking at straight numbers. It's a fine comparison to make, I think. It's just numbers. The amount of people getting a gambling ad. That's all. It's obvious. It's obvious, isn't it? You think Stake is doing this out of the kindness of their heart? No, it's a loss leader. It's And it's market share. Twitch is fumbling. They're stepping in and spending far more than they could ever reasonably make back in order to secure a place in the market. It's the scaling process Twitch went through 10 years ago. Of course not. Who the fuck is arguing that they're doing it out of the kindness of their heart? That's a stupid argument. But they're trying to take a big piece of the market share because Twitch is really fumbling. Muda just made a good video on this. I'd actually really be curious on Muda's take on it. But yeah, I mean, 
It is what it is. Gambling's not a good thing. That's kind of an inarguable point. But at the very least, it's not being promoted on Kick outside of slots and casinos, at least not from what I've read or not what I can tell from all the streams. Maybe it eventually will be to try and drive people to stake. That's possible. That could be the future, but at least right now it's not. It's all localized to the slots and casinos category, which again is the same way it operates on Kick he or on uh, Twitch here as well, where all of the gambling partners and shit are localized to slots and casinos, or casino slot machine and virtual casino. But I could change down the line. It's possible. Thanks the bits of Donis down the line vision for staking kick is betting on esports. Maybe. Brother, I don't know their down the line vision. But it seems like they're trying to create some kind of separation between stake and kick. Because otherwise there'd be stake all over the kick website, but there's not. It's only in slots and casino. Which could change. It is still very early. Could change down the line. I don't have a crystal ball, I'm just saying right now. It doesn't seem like that's the goal. It's looking like it's trying to just get a big influx of users very quickly. If, if Twitch isn't profitable and it has the largest market share, what does Kick have to gain with a bigger market share other than gambling? The goal of profitability at some point, same goal Twitch has. What do you mean? Twitch being not profitable is their own incompetence. The goal is to take a company profitable at some point. Thanks to the resub, Danny. Twitch owned by Amazon and has the discounted AWS kick doesn't. True. Is it though? I don't think any business currently or before has been profitable in the streaming market. YouTube's finally profitable and they're a big player in the streaming space. Of course, it's not all streaming, but they are profitable. So, I mean... It, it can work. YouTube has a huge leg up, though, with, like, their whole ad pipeline, but still, I mean, it can work. <clears throat> this is the Prime Chimp and the Resub Hunter. No, they're not. Why are people saying that? They, they first started logging a profit, I think, in 2019. They weren't profitable for the first, like, 15 years, but now they're actually getting profits. Why are people working off old data? Here, let's let's double check though. Maybe maybe they're no longer profitable. Maybe they bit off more than they could chew. It's a fifteen billion dollar a year business and accounts for roughly ten percent of Google's overall net revenue. And yep. The announcement marks the first time in YouTube's 15 years as a Google-owned platform where it has... Re yep. See? How old is this? 2020 is when it started to become profitable. It's not streaming, though. I said that. It's not exclusively streaming, but... It is a major player in the streaming space that is profitable. <laughs> so it counts. VOD's marketing also making money as well. I mean, yeah, Twitch, again, Twitch should be profitable. They've had 10 years worth of scaling and to figure out a monetization model that works and they haven't. They just keep making bad decisions for it. An easy slam dunk that they've still never explored is VODs. VODs is still such an untapped goldmine for this platform that probably would have single-handedly pushed them closer to green. And that's the number one thing YouTube did for their streams is their VOD content from the streams, monetizing it. 
The reason Twitch isn't profitable with the biggest market share of the streaming space is because they don't know what the fuck they're doing. He's a bitch, Jay. In the bits sack. Oh, you don't have any earbuds anymore? That's fucking rough. Well, hopefully you can find them or fix them. There's a resub squirrel. So running the kick is the answer? For what? For who? For streamers? What does that even have to do with what I was just talking about with Twitch being incompetent? But, I mean, I feel like as a viewer, it doesn't really matter. It, like, as a viewer, it doesn't matter. You're going to go wherever it's most comfortable. If you don't like Kick, you're not going to go to Kick, even if your favorite streamer's there. If you don't like Twitch, you're not going to stay on Twitch, even if your favorite streamer's there. It's just that simple. Kick is super clunky right now, so most people are going to choose not to go to Kick until it's ironed out. It's just it's just the the brass tacks of things. The the platform that offers the better service is going to have the b more users. Yeah, I guess a benefit of Kick is there's no ads, right? So you get a completely ad-free experience. And another good thing is the streamers that go there on a Twitch contract no longer need money from their community. Like, you can, there's plenty of pros you can find for streaming on different platforms. Like XQC, for example, he signed a $100 million contract. He doesn't need donations from his community. He doesn't need subs anymore. He can just go live on Kick. There's no ads, so it's just a seamless viewer experience, assuming the website functions. Like, there's plenty of positives you can spend. And you never have to visit the gambling category unless he starts gambling. And since there's no ads, you don't get steak shoved down your throat. From everything I've seen, steak isn't even on the website until you go into slots and casinos. So if the viewers just go there for him, they can watch him with no ads, don't need to donate in order to keep his lights on. You can you can find positives. Only ad freak is no one wants to have them advertise. Eh, yeah, probably. Brand risks and shit like that. But it doesn't for you the viewer, it still doesn't matter. You still get the ad free viewing. <laughs> Again, it doesn't matter to a viewer. Yeah, XQC streaming Batman on Kick is certainly a it's certainly another bad look for Kick as well. At least they shut that shit down though. Because like, that's just straight up illegal. Which is another thing I saw people talk about. Since it does use Twitch AW or Amazon AWS, if they continue to allow illegal shit on the service, the AWS could be pulled. I did see some clip on Twitter about X saying like that wouldn't happen. It'd be like an IP pulling service because they don't like you. That's not a good comparison. That's not one-to-one. -one. If a platform is just engaging in illegal activity endlessly, they can absolutely decline to provide the service. 100%. Things of the bits. Ghosts and Akazino. Can you explain what you meant by Twitch not monetizing VODs? Oh, sure, yeah. VODs are a completely untapped component of Twitch. VODs are oftentimes clunky, non-functional garbage, and they are not monetized at all by Twitch. Even if you have, like, one add on it or something, that is a far cry from how YouTube uses VOD content on the platform. They don't know what the fuck to do with it. Twitch is very misguided on monetary dis or monetization on their platform. Ads play, like, every five minutes on VODs. What? I've never had an ad on VOD, and I don't even use an ad block for, for Twitch. Because my ad block doesn't work. I've never got a fucking ad on a VOD on Twitch. There's ads on VODs all the time. How the fuck am I not getting served them, then? And there's no money to the streamers for VOD advertisements. Like, there's nothing in the analytics for, like... I don't know, VOD ads, or and it's not lumped up with like the normal ad revenue, where does it go? I've never even heard of that before. That's news to me.
maybe it's clumped. I've never seen it. And well, granted, I don't really look at the number breakdowns or anything, but there's no category or anything for VOD monetization or VOD revenue or anything that I've seen. We're talking Twitch, right? Like you guys aren't aren't confusing Twitch for YouTube VODs. I've never seen that. Huh. Interesting. I've never been served an ad on a VOD somehow. Interesting. Well, that's news to me. I guess streamers just don't see anything from it. I think you have to enable it. Maybe? I don't, I don't know. Maybe it's only on mobile? I don't know. I'll have to look it up. Because I've never even heard about that. Thanks to the Prime, Nico. The resub Juicy and Bird Legs. Don't you have ad block on? Not for Twitch. My ad block doesn't work. I get pre-rolls and mid-rolls on Twitch all the time. If you're a partner, you don't see ads. That's not true. I still see ads pretty much any time I go to any stream ever. Man, this what a horrible example. What the fuck? During every watch party, I always get ads. Did Will just do an ad break or something? Let me go to someone that doesn't do ad breaks. That's so unlucky. Oh my god. I'm so embarrassed. Here, Moon. Well, no, Moon, my, Moon also does ads sometimes. What the fuck? Someone quick, t tell me someone that doesn't do ads. So I get my pre-rolls like I always get. Do Vinny, okay. This is so frustrating. This is so fucking frustrating. Oh my god. Well. They must have just turned it off for me. Just to make me look like a damn fool. Go to every VOD watch party ever. I get 7 to 8 ads just like all of you during every single ad break. I get pre-roll ads on every single ad, or on every single stream. Watch your own stream and run an ad. That is so big brain that it's stupid. Because it wouldn't work. I can't serve myself an ad. <laughs> but that, man, some people have some very creative solutions to some very interesting problems. Is the resub uh, Azurok? Hassan is literally gambling in Japan right now. Correct me if I'm wrong, but wasn't Hassan's take always sponsored gambling, not gambling as a whole? Hasn't he done poker streams and shit? I think his whole issue was just being sponsored to promote gambling and using house money and shit. Which I think is a very fair take that I also agree with. I think sponsored gambling is shit. Using house money and misleading people like that is shitty.